In this video, we'll talk about the error templates for Symfony and where those are found and how you could edit those or how you could override those with your own error templates if you didn't want to change those ones directly. So basically, we have a uh, Symfony's 404 page right here, and um, it's also showing a message and it's saying the product does not exist. So let's go over to our um, code here, and you'll see in our default controller, um, we have a route of slash bad path. And what we're trying to do in our index action is we're gonna to try to retrieve something from the database, but we're not finding it there. So product is being set to false. And then if not product, which is going to be true, then we're gonna throw this exception. And when we throw this exception, we're gonna pass it this message, um, the product does not exist. So where these are stored originally is really deep down in Symfony's folders. Um, basically, you'll go into your vendor folder here, and then from vendor, go down to Symfony, and then Symfony, and then SRC, and then Symfony again, and then inside bundle, then inside twig bundle, then inside resources, then views, then exception. So uh, believe it or not, that's how far you have to go down, but um, if you can find your way in there, you'll be able to um, get to all of the exception twig files right here. And the one for the 404 error is going to be um, exception.html.twig. And I've got that open here. And you can see the um, exception detected right there. And just go here, uh, exception detected. So, I mean, this image is going to have an alt tag. Um, we can see it right here as one exclamation mark. So, um, you know, what I we could do just to test that it's this one, just put a few more exclamation marks on there. And we'll go over here and we'll refresh and we'll see there's three exclamation marks now. So we know that this is the um, the exception page that Symfony is using by default, um, but it's only one part of it. Um, this is basically the body of the exception, but this is being held inside a template. And that template is right here. Um, it's layout.html twig. Now layout.html twig is not in the same folder. Um, it's one directory up inside the views folder. So um, we're going to need to remember that because when we override it, um, if we want to override both of these, then we're going to have to basically duplicate this directory structure and then, um, you know, duplicate both of them. So the other one, uh, layout.html.twig, um, you can see that here. And, um, you know, one interesting thing about this is inside the title, we have this... Um, we have this, you know, twig uh, block right here, and that is actually that's going to show the error message. You can see here, um, the product does not exist. So, um, I'm not even too familiar with twig right now, but um, it seems like there's a lot of useful stuff in it, and just a lot of uh, syntax. You know, you need to learn if you want to get good with it. So, what I want to show you now is how we can override this. So. Um, I think the best way to make your own custom error pages is not going to be to um, edit these directly because in the future you might want um, Symfony's default templates back or you know you just might not want to change them for some reason. So it's going to be better if we override them with our own templates. Um, and the way we can do that is inside the app folder. So I'm just going to go up here and then I'm inside my app folder and then resources. And what you need to do is create a twig bundle folder inside resources here. And inside twig bundle, create a views folder. And then inside the views folder, create an exception folder. And um, basically, what I have here is I have an exception.html.twig. And then I have a little squiggly after it. Um, and then I also have the same thing, layout.html.twig, with a tilde at the end. And um, just so these are not being used right now. And I need to put the tilde there because what happens is, um, you know, when Symfony is going to load their error page, they're first going to look inside app resources, twig bundle. They're going to look inside this, um, this little structure that I created right here. And if it doesn't find these files here, then it's going to use its default ones, which were in the, um, the Symfony folder that I showed you before, which is um, inside the vendor folder. So what we can do here is I can, um, we'll just rename this and take off uh, the tilde at the end. And let's go back over to the browser and then let's refresh here. And you'll see that nothing changed. 
And the reason for this is we haven't cleared our cache. So um, just go over to your um, bash, whatever you're using for your uh, command line. And you want to uh, go into your uh, directory folder. So cd over to there. And then type php app slash console cache colon clear. Just enter that. And that is going to clear, uh, clear all the cache there. And then we can go back here and then refresh. And you'll see um, right now I have my own uh, custom page right here. And that is inside um, Symfony's default layout. So you'll, you'll see that um, layout.html.twig, I still have the squiggly there. So I'm just, um, I'm just changing basically the content of it. So let's just go over to that folder right now. And we'll see that right here. Um, I have my h1 here. And then I also have some twig variables here. So you'll see inside the first h2, I have status underscore co uh, code inside um, the twig brackets here, and then a status underscore text. And what that's giving us is the 404 and then not found. And then the next h2, I have exception dot message. An exception dot message is going to show um, the message that you passed in in your controller. So here we have the product does not exist. And then we can access that inside the uh, twig file using exception.message. And I got this whole bit of text from Symfony's website. And you can see that, um, you know, in twig, you can, you know, pass in other options to your message. And I'm not even sure what these do. So I just output it again here with only exception.message. And it ended up, you know, basically being the same. So I'm not sure exactly what these do, but. Um, you could look in Twig's documentation to, you know, find out what all these different options do. And then so the last thing I want to do is this layout.html twig. We will um, rename this and just take off the tilde there. And um, if we refresh here, I don't think this is going to work because we didn't clear our cache. So let's just go over there and clear our cache. And go back to the browser. And you'll see that I'm including my own layout now. So you'll see that this change right now, this says search on Anthony's website and I have this okay with tildes around it. And um, I think I have that right uh, here. Yeah, I had search search on Anthony's website. So I know that right now it's using the um, exception.html.twig and layout.html.twig um, inside my app resources folder. So that's basically all you have to do to override um, error templates in Symfony.